Hello friends, welcome to Pharma Dish. This is our part 4 presentation. Here we will provide you the Railway Pharmacist solved your question paper. Ok friends. So, in the previous video, we discussed the answer and explanation of each question up to question number 20 with short notes, ok? So, in this video, we will discuss the answer along with the short notes from question number 21 onwards, ok? So, this is the exact railway pharmacist previous question paper from question number 21. So, for 1 to 20 questions and answers you go through our previous video. So, here we will show you from question number 21. Okay, friends. So, in the question number 21, they ask what is gout? Okay. So, the question is what is gout? It is a degenerative disorder, is a vascular disorder, is a renal disorder, is a metabolic disorder. The correct answer is it is a metabolic disorder. That is the option D. Okay. So, this is the metabolic disorder. It is the option D. Okay, so explanation is gout is build up. How gout is occur in the body? It's build up due to the accumulation of uric acid crystals in the joint. Okay, that means proper metabolism of uric acid is hampered, which leads to the accumulation of uric acid to the joint. That's why it's a metabolic disorder. It's not a degenerative disorder. Okay, please remind it's a metabolic disorder. So correct answer is option D. Now, in the number 22 question, they ask the commonly used preservative for blood glucose analysis is EDTA, iodoacetate, sodium fluoride or heparin. So, our answer is option C, that is the sodium fluoride. So, sodium fluoride is the commonly used preservative for blood glucose analysis. Sometimes, combination of sodium fluoride along with the potassium oxalate is used. So, why potassium oxalate given its role as weak anticoagulant? So, now another question, why EDTA is not used? Because EDTA is a chelating agent, it chelates with calcium ion and thus hamper the analysis. So, that's why EDTA is not used. So, correct answer is option C, that is sodium fluoride. In the next question is the math question, what they asked, find the, find the sum sorry sum of squares of first eight natural number that is from one square two square three square to up to eight square okay so correct answer is option c that is two not four now how to solve this question so one square plus two square plus three square to up to eight square this type of question is known as arithmetic progression or AP. So, what is known by arithmetic progression? If each of the term of a series on progressor different from its preceding term by a constant value, that means there is the common difference, then the series is known as AP. So, here once 1 to 2 difference is 1, 2 to 3 difference is 1, 3 to 4 difference is 1. So, this is a AP series. So, there is before so between the two terms each consecutive term difference is always one okay so common difference or the common difference between successive term is one that's why it's a ap series now for one square plus two square plus three square this is a ap series we know so formula is one square plus two square plus three square up to n square if it's us the formula is n into n plus one into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 ok so the formula is n into n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1 sorry n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 so here the n is up to 8 square so n is equal to 8 so using that formula n into n plus 1 that is 8 into 8 plus 1 into 2 into 8 plus 1 we get the answer is 2 not 4 so the correct answer is option c 2 not 4 ok in number question number 24 they ask about it's a reasoning type questions or uh, that is they asked about that 1 4 27 16 terms given they asked about one blank space then again 36 and 340 c 
343 so the correct answer is option C that is 125 so correct answer is 125 so how we get the answer that is the 1 4 27 16 there is a similar fashion so first term 1 it's given in 1 cube second term 4 that is given in the term of 2 square third term 27 that is 3 cube fourth term 16 4 term 16 that is 4 square so the series is like 1 cube 2 square 3 cube 4 square then also then 5 cube then again 6 square that is 36 and then 7 cube that is 314 3 so our answer is 5 cube that is the 125 so 1 cube then another square then cube then square like that the series is proceeding so the our correct answer is 125 okay friends that is option C. Now, in the number 25th question, they asked one math question. A person spent one-fourth of his money, one-fourth part of his salary on food, three-fourth part of his salary, three-fourth, sorry, three-eighth, three-eighth part of his salary on house rent. He is now left with 4,800, find his total salary. So, answer is option D, that is 12,800. Suppose it's, how to do the math? So, suppose its total salary is X, so on food, x by 4 is used on house rent 3x by 8 is used according to the question so remaining part of salary is x minus x by 4 plus 3x by 8 that is 3x by 8 by simplification we get so according to the question that remaining salary that is 3x by 8 equal to 4800 so from here we get the x or the total salary is 12800 okay so the total salary is 12800 that is option d now again next question they ask about interdose interval depends upon age of patient option b bioavailability option c half life of drug or option c dose of the drug so correct answer is interdose interval depends on half life of the drug so what is the half life it is the time required to reduce the concentration by half to the initial concentration so t half equal to this time it's very important just remember this equation that is the t half equal to 0.693 by k1 where k is the elimination rate constant and for the complete elimination of a drug generally takes four to five half lives so for complete elimination from the body a drug takes generally four to five half lives for most of the drug elimination is first order kinetics very important for this year exam elimination is first order kinetics for most of the drugs okay so next question they ask 18 sack summit where it held thimpu dhaka Kathmandu, or new delhi the answer is C that is the Kathmandu. Now the SARC means South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. They use S for South, then Asian Association for Regional Co Cooperation. So members of the SARCs are how to remind the members country of the SARCs are ABP, ABB pins, ABB pins just just remember this minomics a b b pins a for afghanistan b for bangladesh against b for bhutan p for pakistan i for india n for nepal and s for sri lanka so all the indians neighbor countries are the member of sark okay so they are the member of sark so 18 sark summit held in Kathmandu. okay friends so for answer and explanation of rest of the previous pharmacist question paper from question number 28 onwards please watch the next video if you like our video please subscribe pharmadish if you want to take preparation syllabus wise for the upcoming railway pharmacist exam please subscribe pharmadish thank you very much for watching thank you